Water. Water takes up about 71% of our Earth's surface. It has become the home to over 700,000 species, but most of them are dying due to its number one threat, us. Our plastic pollution has become such a great threat to the creatures which call these oceans home that in the year 2050, it is estimated that the amount of plastic pollution in our oceans will outnumber the sea life. The amount will increase to an estimated 1,124 million tons. 80% of trash comes from lands, beginning as litter that isn't thrown away, but instead is pulled out to sea. Pollutants are usually dragged out to a place between North America and Asia, to an area called the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre, but more commonly known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. A gyre is formed when currents crash against each other, creating in the center of this a spiral of waves. Because of the motion of these waves, most of the plastic which travels out from land is contained in this perpetual circle. This wouldn't be a problem if plastic was biodegradable, but because of the material it is made out of, it would take thousands of years for it to completely break down. Because of this, we now have 3.5 million tons of trash. However, the chance of this breaking down before harming the sea life is small. Many species that live in the ocean may mistake the plastic as small fish. Sadly, since plastic is not digestible, the plastic will remain in the stomach, giving animals the false assumption that they are full, which will lead to starvation. Plastic improperly disposed of can also lead to suffocation. Items such as rings for cans and plastic bags can block air passages or hinder natural growth in creatures like sea turtles, who mistake bags for jellyfish. To top it all off, items such as fishing string or strapping bands can entangle the creatures and make them exert more energy to perform simple actions they need to survive, such as swimming and eating. Recycling isn't enough. Most of our plastic waste is either put into landfills, downcycled, or exported to other countries and ends up in our ocean. We need to find new ways to get rid of plastic. By reducing the amount of plastic we use, Reusing the plastic we have, and recycling the unused plastic, we can help assure the safety of our oceans while scientists attempt to find permanent solutions to this issue. Recently, there has been a new discovery in the scientific world that can change the game. Tiny bacteria, which are able to use special enzymes to break down plastics. The reason these bacteria aren't being put into action just yet is because of the difficulty it has with breaking down PET, a special material found in most plastics. Also, the mere size of the bacteria is a key problem. Until we work out the issues with the bacteria, they won't be used anytime soon. Because of the impact we have on our planet this far, we need to come together as a group to prevent further damage. If we don't take action now, there won't be a second chance. Our carelessness has led us to where we are now with penguins choking on six-pack rings and turtles eating plastic bags. If we want to protect the lives of the thousands of creatures living in our oceans, we need to establish a set of guidelines to prevent more waste from entering our seas. Recycling that piece of trash you run into on the shore can really help as long as we all follow this example. You can help save our oceans.